You go see them cry. Shit. See? When you had these type of shoes on, shoes on right here, like this right here, when you had these on, they probably wouldn't hug you like they hug little baby and sandwich them in between two men and do the reverse Oreo like they did to a little baby. Now I live in Atlanta, so I gotta be careful how I approach this. But little baby, I don't know what the f wrong with you. Uh, I understand that you went to a party. And see, this is the reason why I stay the hell away from those parties. Because it seems to me, uh, under my observation, I wear mine too, KB, laugh out loud. Yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. And guess what? Ain't nobody gonna sandwich me in front of no couple dudes wearing these. They know better. They, they say, boy, this boy might stump a mud hole in one of our ass. So no. Well, maybe don't let me say that because they might like the sound of that because these some of these people weird. But during my observation of some of these billionaire characters, um, I think some of them have gotten so bored with what they could get that now they want what they can't have or what people don't want to give them. So I think they set these events and these parties up. And if you want to talk about where Me Too should actually be, it should be at some of these billionaire parties. Because some of these gentlemen are being put in some weird situations. Because I don't necessarily believe that the baby or little baby was, uh, you know, wanting that situation to happen. I think they just grabbed him. They, and the other guy grabbed him and they snapped the picture. I'm hoping that's what happened. <laughs> I'm damn sure hoping <laughs> that's what happened. And we're going to go with that story. We're going to go with, they grab, he, he was trying to dap a dude up and he went in. And another dude right behind him and just came in. Because sometimes them little motherfuckers are aggressive. And he just ran up on little baby and grabbed him real quick. And somebody snapped the shot of it. And little baby ain't know what the was going on. He looked back like, hold on. Because the dude looked like he was looking back. Like, what the So that's what I'm going to say happened. He... He got grabbed, and the motherfucker said, what the fuck? And we don't really know what happened after that. A picture does say a thousand words, but it don't say it all. It don't say it all. And hell, I like little baby music, and I hate to goddamn have to delete all that shit. God damn, I don't want to delete your shit, little baby. So I'm going to just go with that story. Until otherwise proven, I think little baby got surprised. He looked back like, what the fuck? He was laughing like he, it wouldn't look like he was laughing. It looked like it was awkward. Like, he had one of them. Like, nigga. I think he was dapping one dude up and the motherfucker jumped on him and they caught they caught the whole thing. They caught it with his. Shit, he like, you know how them photographers do. Them are good at what they do. Y'all some fast photographers. That's fucked up. And you billionaires, y'all need to stop doing that. Y'all need to stop grabbing on people cheering. Just because y'all got all that money, I'll be done kicked a billion out your ass. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm sorry. Y'all gonna throw me out the party. Your security gonna beat me up. Something. Just don't do that to me. No mean no. <laughs> Shit. I'm a, a straight heterosexual male. I don't have no problem being around gay people. My first cousin is gay, but my first cousin don't rap all around me and do all this shit. We dap up, we talk shit, we chill. But uh forcing yourself upon somebody like that that's kind of fucked up you and sexual deviant billionaires need to calm y'all ass down i'm never coming to your parties i'm gonna tell you that right now you motherfucker too aggressive <laughs> uh, the baby little baby should me too his man little baby should sue him but he a rapper he can't do it matter of fact i'll fall out and start hollering what are you billionaires grab me i'm gonna turn into a black karen i'm gonna fall out and start hollering ah! I want to touch. I'm gonna sue your mother ass just like goddamn uh, what's his name? Terry Crews. I'm just not gonna cry. Y'all being there need to learn. Keep your hands to your self. <clears throat> oh yeah, they say Meek Mill. Oh, they had Meek Mill bunny hopping. Damn. I don't agree with that either. This is why I talk the shit I talk. See, I'm comfortable. I don't, I don't chase money. A that chase money and chase fame. You got to do that shit the rest of your life. It don't impress me knowing somebody just because they got a billion dollars. They money don't make me shit. <laughs> and you got, men ain't supposed to give a f about what another man have anyway. Oh, I went to church today. Sorry. The bud kicking in. Pastor, if you're watching this, um, he ain't through with me yet, Pastor. 
I'm a cusser. I grew up around cussers. I'm sorry. I'm working on. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. What another man eat? And I don't give a dang if a man got thirty billion dollars. I'm not a woman, so money don't make me come. So, and especially if it's not my money, what the hell I'm gonna do with it? It ain't got nothing to do with it. His billion dollars don't got nothing to do with me. And I ain't finna spend a bunch of time hanging out with a bunch of mother that think they money impressed me. So yeah, I'd rather hang out with a billionaire woman. Why do you niggas don't go to a bunch of billionaire women party? You know, I'm the nigga. If there's a group of billionaire women out there that want me to come to their party, please goddamn let me know. I'll put my book in information. <laughs> But I don't understand you niggas always up under these white billionaires. I don't, I don't know you niggas. I don't, I, don't, I don't get it. I really don't. How you niggas come from the block, from that type of dangerous environment, to now you niggas like tennis and golf? And you niggas don't know nothing about that shit. Man, you, if you got to change up your whole life and be somebody different to be around some white billionaire, man, you got life f***ed up. I'm sorry. And no disrespect to the billionaire, because I want a billion too. But uh, some of y'all just ain't cool, you know. That's why I think. Now, if you rappers getting a big bag for that shit, I hope y'all ain't just flying around, hanging out with these billionaires, turning up their companies for free. I told y'all, they need us. Now, you think these billionaire men are just hanging out with these dangerous ass black rappers for no reason? No. It's for those photo ops. That picture went viral. I guarantee you they own those photos that went viral. They're making money off of that. Uh, Lil Baby is, is, is one of the icons of the rap game. So that automatically validates this white guy. So anything this white guy puts out and he does, our culture and community is going to back it because Lil Baby, they're going to think Lil Baby back it. Now they better stop putting Lil Baby in situations where they're letting out photos with you grabbing them like that because Lil Baby is of the street uh, dude type of persona. So street dudes ain't supposed to be wrapped around on, he was supposed to slap you, you supposed to let him slap you. If that was a game, you were supposed to let him slap your ass on camera and then it really would have went up. Lil Baby stock would have went up, y'all stock would have went up, you supposed to let him slap shit at you. That's how you run a play. But um, you got them guys need to stop hanging out with these billionaires, especially for free. If Because all y'all doing, I wish some of you niggas would hang around my business. Like, I'm tired of you uh, always hanging out with all these guys white boys for free if y'all hanging with them for free why don't you just come hang out with some niggas because uh any business that little baby or one of these dudes just hang out at hell i'll get you niggas some liquor <laughs> what kind of liquor you niggas want i'll get you niggas some liquor i'll get you niggas some weed just come hang out Shit, watch how much money i make off your mother but at least the money gonna go back to the hood with me because yeah i you know i don't know what you niggas doing y'all got all this damn money you charge niggas i believe y'all charge for the concert are y'all charging them white folks a hundred thousand to be around y'all? Are y'all charging them the same amount that you would charge for your concert? Cause I can guarantee you, they not hanging with you for no reason. <laughs> if I know them billionaire white people, it's a money play. <laughs> they know you niggas cuss all day. They know you talking about shooting niggas all day. So why the would they want to hang with you? They're going to make some money off of your black ass. And if you ain't getting none, tis tis, shame on you. Nigga got you jumping, bunny hopping. I know Meek Mill probably making some money because I ain't heard this nigga rap since he started hanging with that goddamn dude. Why are you doing bunny hops, Meek? Because you got your ass beaten. So yeah, Meek Mill got to be making some money with him. He must be in business deals and shit with him. So if Meek Mill doing that, cool. Just stop bunny hopping. Um, because it's okay to to piece it up with some white dudes and make some money, but don't let them make you disrespect yourself and do all that shit. No. Uh uh. I choose not to go because I haven't met a, a, a dude with that type of money yet that respect certain boundaries. Uh, either they, they too touchy-feely, try to kiss up on your woman, hey, no, I ain't Italian, don't kiss her on the cheek, uh-uh, no, 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 move your mouth, don't kiss her on the cheek, nigga, back up, what the f*** you doing? <laughs> back that f***ing kid, you go, how the hell you gonna shake my hand, meet my girl, get to put your mouth on her, but no, nigga, we don't. I'm not from that culture. Get your mouth up off of her. Don't put your hand on her like that. No, nigga, y'all ain't friends like that. That's quite enough. That's my young girl, Donna. Back up. Yeah. That ain't how it go. These dudes go too far past boundaries. 
Either they want to kiss up and hug up on your girl or they want to kiss up and hug up on you. <laughs> Either way it goes, it's a violation. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to be kissed up and hugged on. And uh, I don't want my lady kissed up and hugged on just because we doing some business, nigga. So now, you business niggas got to get a little more respect. Yeah, but the little baby thing, they surprised them. That ain't nothing. All that. Little baby was surprised. That's just a picture. Um, so I'm still going to be listening to Intermittent and all the songs that I listen to. All that. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't go to them parties no more if I was you, little baby. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Some people would say, man, fuck that. He, she, he making about a billion dollars with them. So he can hug up on them and all that. Uh, I think he got enough money that he don't got to have a man grope him for some money. That would make him a whore. Him a whore. So I, I don't agree with that. All that money shit, nigga. No. I think he caught him off guard and they snapped the damn picture. And that's what I'm going with.